Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're gonna talk about Mega Bermos. So let's jump into it guys. So this is a weird build because uh, you can use the build as a way to do damage on your own. What I mean by that is you can play Moz and kill stuff, but it's supposed to be a build that stands on its own. Activate your action skill and uh, let it do the, the job. And usually it's more than enough. That's why we have a an Guardian Angel right there and also an Unforgiven, because that way we're gonna boost some damage. And as you might have seen right there, we are using Uraid. I think it's my first Uraid build since the level cap increase. So as you can see, we only have a few pieces of gear on us because this one is absolutely not gear dependent whatsoever. So for that, we have a plasma curl because I've decided to go with only the most strongest weapon in the game, the Hellwalker, the kick charger in corrosive and uh, fire because those two ones matters the most. We also have an unforgiven, two light throw, a free radical, a flipper because on most I really love this one. We have two monarchs on fire and corrosive, the guardian angel, the other kick charger, and two Sandok. So for the rest of the build. So next we have the plus ultra which is gonna be our main shield. We are not gonna use anything else because that way we're gonna be extremely beefy. For the nades we only have two ACs, the radiation one and the corrosive one because uh, we have the incendiary one on our shield. For the artifact we only have a snowdrift deathless. It's in order to be in new raid setup otherwise we will not be in new raid and we will not get that boost. Finally for the class mod we have three of them. We have a rocketeer and a beer trooper. Those two ones are our best bet for the build. But you can also use a blastmaster. It's either for running around or if you want to do something very nasty which is starting with a rocketeer, deploying your bear and swapping to a blastmaster in order to get more damage. If I'm not mistaken, it's still a thing. And we are done with all the weapons and gear, so let's go over the skill tree. So for the purple tree, we did not put a single point into this one because we usually go for big surplus, which we don't need. On next, we have the green tree, which we are down to uh, specialist bear because it's a nice boost for our bear. So we took a little bit of ammo regeneration since we are able to do damage on our own. On next for the red tree we are down to uh, desperate measures because it's gonna give us a cool boost on our damage. We also took experimental munition and thin red line we are in new right setup so it's gonna give us an even bigger shield than what we got right now. You don't need to put one point into security bear. So we are using railgun with uh, airs on rails on left hand and capacity raw material on right end. And finally for the blue tree we are down to short fuse because why not. So we put 3 points into vampire, also 3 points into pull the holy pain. You do need to grab auto bear and uh, dead lines as a grizzle. And as always we put 5 points into stainless steel beer, 5 points into talk cross promotion, 3 into uh, means of destruction and finally 5 points into fire in the sky then. So this is a pretty deadly setup as you can see here. So this is it for the skill tree guys. I really hope you'll enjoy this one. As you might have seen in the footage, this is a crazy setup. And yes, that's it for today. So if you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to drop a like, a comment and a sub because that will help me a lot and I will really appreciate that guys. And with that said, I will catch you in the next one. So take care guys.